Hello everybody and welcome to another pixelflife.com video tutorial. This is the clean professional Photoshop video tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and grab this color purple. As you can see here, it's A800FF. Once you've done that, select your pen tool. From here, you're going to make sure that your stroke is off, that auto add delete is on, and so is align edges. And all we're going to do is simply drag out a shape that we kind of like. All right, so something kind of like that. Once that's done, we can then duplicate that layer, go to Edit, Transform Path, and flip it either horizontally or vertically. Okay, and you can see there how they overlap each other right now. So we're going to go ahead and drag this down, and then I'm also going to go to Transform, and also do it horizontally. I'm going to line those up. As you can see there, it makes a cool little design. Okay. We're then going to shift click these layers and drag it into the middle of our canvas. And on the canvas, I just have a white to a slight gray radian. It's really easy to do. From there, I want to go ahead and double click this layer and go to color overlay. I'm then going to select this color purple and I'm simply going to darken this one on the top, as you can see there. Next, I'm going to do a stroke and I'm going to make that black. Okay. From there, I'm then going to do a um, drop shadow, and I want to do the opposite direction. I'm not going to use global light though, and I want to use have it go in the opposite direction. I'm then going to up that size so it's a little bit softer, and then decrease the distance just a tad. And I'll also down that size a little bit and up the distance a little bit more. So I want it to definitely look like it's kind of going that way. And then if you want to just soften it, you can just take off the opacity a little bit. Okay? So kind of like that. All right, from there, I'm then going to hit okay. I'm then going to right click and go to copy layer style. Right click on my other layer and click on paste layer style. Okay? Now you can see there it's pasted. I'm going to get rid of the color overlay on this one though. And then I'm going to go to my drop shadow and instead of going this direction, I'm going to go the other. So it looks like they're offsetting each other like so. Okay, and from there, our basic design is done. Now you can do whatever you want with this specific kind of shape. This is just what I've decided to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and move these down so that the points are actually not touching. And I'm going to do them kind of like that. Move that up just a bit. And I've decided to name this Colorful Designs. All right, and I'm just going to put that down here on the bottom and we'll come back to that in a second now I'm going to create the slogan which is going to be always tinkering online okay I'm gonna make this gray because the backgrounds white so it kind of makes sense to do that and it's an aerial I'm gonna go ahead and drop the size down by quite a bit here because I actually want it to fit in between this logo all right so I'm gonna go ahead and center that up a little bit always tinkering online now this colorful designs, I'm going to go ahead and use bevel and emboss on it. I'm going to bring that size down, drop a shadow on it. I will go ahead and do the other direction, like so. And I'll up the size just a little bit to kind of soften it. And then I want to stroke this. But I actually want to stroke this in darker purple, as you can see there. And then drop the size down by two. And that looks very, very clean and crisp. All right, so that's done. Now is the fun part. We need to go ahead and make highlights and shadows on these two objects. So I'm going to go ahead and control click this layer which selects it. I'm then going to create a new layer and call this um, highlights. I'm going to drag that above both layers though. Then I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool, hit D and X. I'm then going to grab a soft brush as you can see. And all I'm going to do is First of all, we need to decide what direction we want the light to come from. And I've decided I want it to come from this direction. So what I'm going to do is simply kind of do a little bit like that. Drop my size down just a tad and kind of do a little bit on there. And then I need to do back to the normal size brush. And I'm going to go ahead and control click this layer now. And I'm going to do the same thing and kind of just make them glow a little bit. Now from there, I'm going to go ahead and drop those opacities down a little bit because they don't need to be quite that high. 
And from there, I'm then going to hold Control A, hit Control C. I'm going to go to my channels, create a new layer, and hit Control V. And you can see here that it puts these um, onto the uh, channels here. And if I click on this layer, whoa, if I click on this layer, and I go to, try to remember which one it's under. I believe it's this one. And no, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click this, uh, these two things again. On that highlights layer, go to filter, render, lighting effects. And when this menu comes up, I'm simply going to go ahead and kind of mess with this a little bit until I kind of get the look that I want on the uh, option. And I can change this from a point to a spotlight or to an infinite light, you know, whatever I want. And I'm going to go ahead and up these, up the intensity here a little bit. So it just really makes it pop off the page there. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right. And now how you do the other, anything else you do the logo is up to you. I kind of like this over here and I kind of like moving these closer together and then dragging these up a little bit more but something kind of like that and you can do you can always move them um, uh, side by side you know instead and uh, you just need to make sure to separate the highlights layer so let's go ahead and show you that you're gonna go ahead and double click there control C control X control V you would line it up again it'll automatically snap into place and then you can control click those layers and move the whole thing at one time. Kind of like that. And there you go. That's how to make a very easy and professional logo rather quickly that looks clean cut. And I like it. So I hope you guys did too. It's your boy, and we'll see you later.